welcome. All right, so I promised I would give you an update for what's going on with IVF. Um, Jenna isn't here, unfortunately. She's working, but I thought I would still do the video anyways. Now, today is June the 12th, I think. That's Wednesday, June 12th. And we've already kind of started the process. So I'm sorry we're really so far behind and letting you guys know what's happening. A lot's been happening. It's been crazy. Um, okay. Now we have decided to try a fresh transfer. So we've just decided to not do any PGS testing. Um, the doctor just felt it wasn't necessary and it's quite expensive and we just felt it wasn't necessary. So we decided to go ahead with a fresh transfer. So that means that today, um, Jenna just had her baseline ultrasound um, on June 10th, so Monday. And before that, she was taking birth control. And then for, from when her period started up until that day, she took birth control. And so that just kind of held her cycle. And then on Monday, she had her ultrasound just to double check that all the follicles are still all good. And hers was good. And then um, I also, so that's we decided to do a fresh transfer, meaning I am going to go ahead and take medication this cycle. And that means that my period recently started on Saturday. I think it was the 8th. And so it started Saturday. So I informed the clinic. Well, really, I had to wait until Monday because it was after 12. And they closed at 12. But anyways, they, um, I called on Monday and went in at the same time as Jenna. And they did an ultrasound on me just to check my lining. Um, really, they don't care about my follicles, just my lining's important. So they checked my lining and said for, you know, which, uh, where I am in that cycle, it was good. So both of us had our blood work done. And that means uh, Jenna's blood work is just to check and make sure everything's okay. Her levels are all good. So she can start her stem meds on Friday, June 14th. And then my blood work was just to double check all my levels are good too. And I guess to, just to check I'm not pregnant, which I'm not. So, um, uh, okay. So that was on Monday. And then for the rest of the time, I'll let you know what we're going to do. Sorry. Again, on Friday, the 14th, Jenna's going to start her stim meds. So she'll be starting with two um, subcutaneous shots, her gonal F and menopir, and do that for, I don't know, really the whole time. But she will continue that until uh, Monday the 17th, and then she will go in on Monday. Unfortunately, I won't be there because I'm actually leaving for the weekend. I know, weird, but... Um, so she'll go in on Monday for another ultrasound and just to take a look at everything. And at that point, they'll inform her, you know, the growth of her follicles. And then they'll inform her how they want to change her stim meds, whether it's going to go up, down, stay the same. Um, so that's Monday. And then she will go back again on Wednesday for another ultrasound, which I will be there. And again, double check what the follicles are doing. Um, again, at that point, they might start her Ganarillix. Um, and that's just a, if you saw the other IVF meds video haul, that explains about that one. So she might start that medication somewhere around midweek-ish. And then that medication puts everything on hold. So then Friday, she'll come back again. And Friday, they'll probably inform her when she's going to trigger. Um, that's in the butt. <laughs> and then from there, once she has her trigger shot, um, I think it's 36 hours later, she'll have her egg retrieval. And um, because it's a fresh transfer, that means that I'm going to have to take estrogen. I'm doing that right now. Um, it's just a baby aspirin as well. And then the day of Jenna's egg retrieval, I will start um, progesterone and oil, PIO shots. Um, so I'll start it that day, and then I will continue doing that all the way up until um, we test for pregnancy. So that means she'll have her egg, let me back up. So she'll have her egg retrieval, and then typically, you know, the standard you wait overnight, they let you know how many eggs fertilized um, or mature and then fertilized. And then 
day three and day five, they'll let you know. So on day three, they'll inform us how many are still going. Day five, that would be when we do the transfer and they'll also let us know how many made it to day five. Um, plus, like I said, we will go ahead and do the transfer if everything works out. And I think that should be, I think the 20, I think June 20th, um, is it Monday or Friday, Friday, Monday. Anyways, I don't remember, but that day, um, I'm going to have an ultrasound to double check my uterine lining just to make sure everything's okay and we're still good and we can do the transfer. If for some reason my lining doesn't work, then obviously we'll cancel that and then we'll just wait for a frozen, but hopefully it'll work. Um, yeah, so that, if all works out, they will transfer on day five and just transfer one embryo or uh, embryo, excuse me, an embryo, and then wait two weeks, see and test if we're pregnant. And if we are pregnant, I will continue with my shots for, I think, another six weeks. So a total of 10 weeks. Um, plus I also have to take like a vaginal gel. Um, I'll have to do that for, I don't know, for a while. So yeah, that is kind of the plan. It is starting soon in two days. Jenna starts her meds and then we just go from there and there's a lot of appointments and a lot happening. It's going to be crazy, but it's exciting and overwhelming all at the same time. Oh, I'm nervous for Jenna taking all those shots. I'm nervous for me um, and all my future shots. <laughs> So that is the update. I'm trying my best really to keep you updated. It's been really hard because I know there's a lot of other things that we need to do. And uh, sadly, YouTube is like the last priority for me, but don't worry. I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to try to do more stories and things on there to kind of update people if possible. So instead of getting out vlogs, I mean, I want to. I've filmed quite a bit of stuff. I just haven't released them. So yeah. Um, oh, and let me know if you're starting your IVF journey soon. Have you guys decided to do a fresh frozen transfer um, or any of you doing reciprocal RV, I, IVF? Because I'm just wondering, because um, that's what we're doing. And I know a lot of people do like IUIs. I do know one couple that did our IVF, but not a lot of people. I don't want to say this like inappropriate, most like straight couples or other people are just doing like IUIs. So there's not many are IVF. So let me know if you're doing reciprocal IVF. I would love to know, especially if you have a YouTube. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.